This segment will show you how to attach your tow spreader to your lawn tractor and set up your spreader for use. Now that the spreader is fully assembled, we can attach it to your lawn tractor and begin using it. First, remove the hairpin cotter from the hitch pin and remove the hitch pin from the hitch tube. Guide the hitch tube into the tow hitch on your tractor until the holes in the hitch tube align with the hole in the tow hitch. Then install the hitch pin through the holes and install the hairpin cotter to secure the spreader to your tractor. Please note, never attempt to operate the tow spreader without the hairpin cotter in the hitch pin. The tow spreader can separate from the tow tractor, which can lead to damage to the spreader and possible injury. To begin using the spreader after it's attached to the tractor, loosen the wing nut on the flow control bracket and set the adjustable stop to the flow rate that you want. Make sure to consult the chart on page 10 of the operator's manual and the instructions on the fertilizer bag to determine the proper settings for the flow control. Pull the flow control arm against the adjustable stop for the on position. The flow control can be locked into the off position by moving the flow control arm all the way towards the hopper and into the locking notch. Use this off position whenever you are transporting the spreader without actually dispensing any fertilizer. We do not recommend using this spreader with powdered lawn chemicals due to difficulty in obtaining a satisfactory or consistent broadcast pattern. To ensure safe product application, follow the following steps. Determine the amount of material needed for the area that you will be spreading. Make sure the flow control arm is initially locked in the closed position. Fill the hopper with material, making sure to break up any clumps of material. Refer to the application chart on page 10 of the operator's manual for the correct flow rate for your material. The chart in the operator's manual is calculated for a vehicle speed of 3 miles an hour. A variation in speed will require adjustment to the flow rate to maintain the same coverage. However, do not exceed 6 miles per hour with the broadcast spreader. Speeds above 6 miles per hour may cause excessive wear of the spreader parts. Always start the tractor in motion before opening the flow plate. Always close the flow control plate when turning or stopping the tractor. If fertilizer is accidentally deposited too heavily in a small area, soak the area thoroughly with a garden hose or sprinkler to prevent burning of the lawn. For additional information on the recommended broadcast pattern, refer to page 10 of the operator's manual.